Na mtazamaji kwingineko fedha zinazotarajiwa kutoka benki ya dunia. Shirika la fedha duniani IMF na wa shirika wengine wa kimaendeleo zitasaidia kudhibiti thamani ya sarafu ya Kenya ambayo imedorora katika miezi ya hivi karibuni. Gavana wa benki kuu ya Kenya, daktari Kamau Thuge, amesema benki hiyo itatumia mbinu zote zilizopo kulinda thamani ya shilingi ya Kenya dhidi ya misuko suko yote ya kifedha. Tongea kwenye kikao cha kamati ya kuratibu sera za kifedha. Gavana wa benki kuu ya Kenya Kamau Thuge alisema kiwango cha kubadilisha sarafu kimepanda na hivyo benki kuu ya Kenya huenda ikalazimika kuingilia kati kudhibiti dhamani ya shilingi could be scope for central bank uh, to support the the um, the exchange rate uh, going forward Duge alisema fedha za kigeni zinazotarajiwa kutoka taasisi za kimataifa za utoaji mikopo na washirika wa kimaendeleo zitasaidia kuimarisha dhamani ya shilingi ya Kenya The Trade Development Bank also has uh, made some disbursements uh, almost uh, 400 uh, almost 400 million uh, in the last within the last uh, uh, two months uh, we are also expecting disbursements from the world bank around uh, march april uh, of uh, almost according to the treasury of about 1.5 billion dollars in addition to all that, of course, we have seen some uh, interest uh, by foreign investors in uh, government securities. Uh, we are in the process of issuing the infrastructure bond and we have seen significant uh, foreign interest. Alisema Kenya inatarajia kupenya katika soko la kifedha la kimataifa na kwamba huenda ikatumia sehemu ya pesa kwenye hifadhi yake ya fedha za kigeni kulipa mkopo wa hati ya dhamani dola bilioni mbili ambao muda wa kulipa unaanza mwezi Juni mwaka huu. We uh, have engaged our lead managers and we expect our lead managers to um, tell us when it's appropriate when the market is appropriate to uh, for us to be able to access uh, capital markets to be able now to deal with the euro bond that will be falling due in June of um, 2024. Dr. Thuge anabashiri kuongezeka kwa kiwango cha mikopo isiyolipwa kutokana na kuongezwa kwa kiwango cha riba ya mikopo kutoka asilimia 12.5 hadi asilimia 13 jambo ambalo limechochea kupanda kwa gharama ya mikopo. Yes indeed of course we are concerned about the non performing loans uh, and what impact the rising interest rates uh, would have uh, on, on them. Wari Mujenga, Darubini.